Friday Night Football is brought to you by Winnebago Motorhomes. Live a life of adventure. Welcome to the first week of Friday Night Football. I am Eric Graver, he's Ethan Wiles, and we are kicking off the new season, Ethan, with some big northern action. Yeah, that's right. Stillman Valley and Dixon, they always play some great games against each other, and there's no better way to get the season started. Friday Night Football's Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Feldco, Rockford's home renewal expert. Dixon hitting the road to face the big northern champs from last year. We're going to pick this up in the second half. The Dukes up 21 to 7 coming out, but the Cardinals looking to fight back out of the gate. Isaiah Herebia with a big time run to put the cards in scoring position. They are going to capitalize on it with that physical run game. Braden Angle caps it off with six. Stillman down a touchdown 14 to 21, but that rowdy crowd getting into it out there. Dixon's offense, it was shut down a lot of the second half. Jared Shaner, or Tyler Shaner, excuse me, with nowhere to go, but he wakes up late in the game trying to pad their lead, passes it to the younger brother, Colin. What a dot from the senior quarterback, and this is the entire Tyler Shaner experience. He jukes me out with the camera, but he keeps it on the option, takes it to the house, the dual threat, doing it all. Got those moves. Senior, yes, he does, and he makes it 28 to 14. They hold on from there. Dixon upsets the big Northern champs on the road, 28 to 14, the final. Two playoff teams from the last year, Winnebago and Rockford Lutheran going at it. Lutheran up 28 to eight early in the third Crusaders. They give it to Gavin Sanders, and he breaks off a 55-yard touchdown run, and he's going to make it 35-8. to eight. They add seven. Sater Nation, they were fired up after that, as were the Crusader offense, and just 12 seconds later, Winnebago answers. Supreme Muhammad, he shows off the sprinter spr speed, and he breaks off a 65-yard touchdown run. Makes it 35-16. Jeff Ludke, not happy with that one. Oh, I've seen that look before. <laughs> the Crusaders showing big play capability. Trajan Lockhart reverses field and Ooh, takes it 55 yards for another Lutheran score. And just like that, the Crusaders win big, 56-23. Big win for those Saders. Let's head over to Byron, looking to put together another strong season. They're going to face Rock Falls to open it up. Early in this one, the sophomore, Caden Considine. Yeah, he looks ready for his sophomore year. Takes the fourth down run to the house on the opening drive of the game. Next drive, Rocks Falls trying to fight their way back. Quarterback just throws up a prayer. The senior, Jacob Ross, snags it out of the way, out of the air, takes it all the way for a pick six. And the future Tigers fired up out there, but they're not done yet. All the Tigers getting in on the action. Everett Wichman. Powering his way past the Rockets and the Tigers looking ready for another big season. Byron wins it 77-6. Rockford Christian hosting the Genoa Kingston Cogs in a week one clash and the Cogs came out strong. Patrick Young, he follows his blockers and takes it 30 yards to the house and GK, they go up 6-0 early. The cheerleaders, you know, they got to get a workout into it. Maybe a little hot this week, mm, but they're out, out there. there working. The Cogs, they were knocking on the door again. Brady Brewick pounds it in for a score, and Genoa Kingston rolls 44-8. Two teams looking for bounce back seasons with the Vikings and the Oregon Hawks. Vikings with the ball first, throwing it to Chris Dutch. Sheds a block, that's a nice run, and stays on his feet, picks up a big game. A few plays later now, same drive, another pass, but the Oregon defense comes up strong. Dalton McCammon with the tackle. Oregon with the ball now, and they're gonna run it, but Vikings defense coming up with a big stop. We're gonna see a lot of that in this game. The Hawks student section likes that in week one. Vikings passing it to Julian Rodriguez. He's got open field, but brought down. Nice tackle, big day for both defenses as the Hawks. Seth Rohde all over the quarterback, able to bring him down. Oregon would go on to win this one six to nothing, Ethan. It goes into double overtime. What a win for those Hawks. Still to come, we'll head to the Nick 10 to see how a couple big-time quarterbacks look in the first games of their senior seasons. 
More highlights when FNF returns right after the break. Boylan sat alone at the top of the Nick 10 last year, and the first stop in their title defense is to Guilford High School to face the East e -Rabs. East coming out and playing hard in this one early. Scoreless game in the second quarter. Boylan gives it to Donovan Hanser. And he's gonna punch that one in for six, seven nothing. Boylan lead at the half. Dalen Griffin back to help his dad coach after graduating from Quincy University. And East trying to answer their star running back, Javius Catlin. You gotta watch out for him out there. He looks like a D1 athlete, breaks off a big run, but East has the touchdown called back on that drive. Boylan fans, they like that though, and the Titans are gonna go to the, ear, to the air, but East able to grab the interception out of the air. That's a big time play. Boylan, a little too much in this one. They are stacked at every level, especially running the ball. Donovan Hanser powers it in for his second touchdown of the game. He had over 100 rushing yards tonight. The Titans win it 24 to nothing. Don and Egan now hosting the Jayhawks to open up their season. Braden Lane going to make a touchdown here for Hananiga, taking that one in. Hano poised for a big season, and they're ready to, they want to start week one hot. Kids cheering on their home team. Jefferson trying to run it, get knocked out of bounds. Hano defense all over, all over them in this one. Hano dropping back now, launching it in the air, but it's broken up. That's a big time pick. Jefferson's DeAngelos Roby, great pick to get the Jayhawks ball back, but the Indians too much. Isaiah Huey and company get the 55 to eight win. And over at Auburn, the Knights hosting the Huskies of Harlem, who have some high expectations for the season. The Auburn band rocking out in week one. First quarter, Harlem's Derek Anderson looking to take a shot on second down, but this one is dropped by Jordan Viborny. Tough break for the Huskies. Auburn with the ball now, and it's the big man, Patrick DeBose, Ooh. with the rock, and he's going to hurdle his man coming right into your living room. Shout out Derek Bain there. Second quarter, Auburn punting with their back to their end zone, and Harlem's Isaac Johnson able to get in there for the block. One of two safeties for the Huskies in this one. Then it's Anderson using his legs to fight for the end zone. He gets in. Harlem takes the close one, 12 to 6. And over at Belvedere, the Bucks moving their game from Thursday to Friday due to that heat wave. They took on Guilford. This one, a defensive slugfest in the first half. Guilford powers it in to take the 8-0 lead at the half. And they go on to win big, 28 to nothing. Guilford over Belvedere. Nice to see Guilford picking up where they left off last season, Ethan. And still to come, we'll check in with the NUIC where you can always catch the best small school football in the state. We'll have more highlights when FNF returns right after the break. Well, every year, Ethan, the NUIC shows us they have some of the best small school football in the state. They're ready to show us that again this year. That's right, we start with the Rivermen hosting the Blackhawks out at Durand High School. Pick this one up at the final play of the first half. It's the Rivermen's Cooper Hoffman. He's going to show off his cannon with a halftime Hail Mary, but it just is mm. overthrown. Dupek, they were down two at the half, and they are down two late in the game. But Hoffman showing off his legs and scampers for the big first down as Dupek driving. Hoffman again, he's trying to use those legs and try to put the Rivermen up, but that Stockton defense standing strong. Hoffman rolling out late in the game, looking for Brody Black in the back corner, and he hauls it in one-handed. Looking like Odell Beckham and Jr. Giants fan, you clutch play there late in the game. Dupek defense, they would need to stay strong as you take another look at that amazing catch there. Dupek defense needing to stay strong to stop Stockton, and they would. They hang on to win this one, 20-16. Hard to believe Hoffman's just entering his junior season. More NUIC action with Forreston taking on the Fulton Steamers. Steamers with the ball. Dom Kramer throwing it deep. Balin Damhoff to score their second touchdown, winning 12 to 8 in the second quarter. Forreston looking to answer with a deep ball of their own. Intercepted though by Trevor Teesman. The Steamers they're going to take the lead into the half. To the Steamers in the third now. Going to try another deep ball. They were liking it in the first half, trying it in the second half. But Forreston looking for an interception of their own. Carson Atkins bringing that one in, and now Forreston punching it in. Some nice Forreston running. Owen Mulder, that's exactly what they needed. That touchdown puts them in front, 22-18 in the final. 
And now some eight-man football action with Hiawatha taking on the Sobos in South Beloit. And Sobos, Noah Zwerns is going to run it all the way for the touchdown, which is something the Sobos did a lot of today. And Hiawatha with the ball now, and the Hawks saying, yeah, we can run the ball too, and he's going to take this one all the way for a touchdown. Later on in the game, Hiawatha, the Hawks, they're going to flip it to their running back, and he's going to do much of the same. There's the pitch, and he's going to take it down the sideline, and he's going to take it into the end zone. But it wasn't enough as the Sobos win 58-26. to Our photographers scoured the area looking for the best high school football action tonight, but only one can be our play of the week. Rockford Lutheran sophomore Gavin Sanders breaks off a 55-yard touchdown run. Five is the key number for number five. Five touchdowns in this one, along with 305 rushing yards, helping Woo. Lutheran put up 56 points. What a night for him. That is all the time we have. Thank you for joining us for week one. He is Ethan Wiles. I'm Eric Graver. We will see you next week for week two.